Welcome to another Do Loss quote. Quote number six coming from the late great R.C. Sproul from Ligonier Ministries, who has a radio program, Renewing Your Mind, that I've listened to almost daily for the last six years or so. And I've grown a lot listening to his teachings and all the other Ligonier fellows on there. And so R.C. Sproul, definitely a brilliant theologian, a wonderful pastor, really a genteel man that I never got to meet. Uh, but Lord willing, we'll meet when we uh, get to meet together in heaven. But he said this, theology is unavoidable for any Christian. Theology is our attempt to understand the truth that God has revealed to us. And it's not a question of whether we're going to be engaged in theology or not. It's a question of whether our theology is going to be sound and biblical or unsound, end quote. And so theology sometimes can be a, a dirty word. Using your mind as a Christian can really be a, a dirty word uh, in the Christian faith, but there's no other way to understand God but through the mind. Uh, that's how you understand what he's done for you on the cross. That's, how you, that's what you understand how he created the world. Uh, that's how you understand that uh, the scriptures are actually a revelation, a coherent revelation from God. And I want to read a couple of passages regarding that specific issue. In 1 Thessalonians, Thessalonians 2.13, Paul writes, And for this reason we also thank God without ceasing, that when you received the word of God which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but for what it really is, the word of God, which also is at work in you who believe. So Paul's telling the Thessalonians there that they just continued to thank God unceasingly because they received the word from Paul and his companions that it was not just their word, but it was actually the word of God. So that was a, a high praise for them. But if you go back to the book of Acts and read what, uh, what Luke wrote regarding uh, the believers uh, in Berea, um, Paul, or Luke writes in Acts 17, verses 10 to 11, And the brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea. And when they were arrived, they went into the synagogue of the Jews. Now these were more noble-minded than those in Thessalonica. So, the, Paul, so Luke was writing here that the brethren in Berea, they're more noble than those in Thessalonica. And here's the, here's the key reason. For they received the word with great eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see whether these things were so. So even the Apostle Paul, his teaching, as he commended the, Thessalonians, the, the Thessalonians for commending and for receiving his teaching as the word of God, not the word of men, that was a great commendation that Paul had for them. But under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, as Luke is writing this, he's saying that the people in Berea were more noble than those in Thessalonica because they actually took what Paul was saying and tested it with the scriptures. And I think that's why, as Christians, we have to be theologians because all, everybody is a theologian. R.C. Sproul wrote a book about that very, uh, with that very title. We're all theologians, and it really just comes down to are you a good theologian or a bad theologian? And what good theologians do is test everything with the scriptures. That's why it's so important to when you're listening to a sermon, when you're listening to a talk, even if you're listening to secular commentary, test everything with the scriptures. That's that's how you become a good theologian. That's how you become somebody who has sound theology, sound doctrine, because you are not just taking what people are saying and, and imbibing that and then, and then regurgitating what you've heard, but you're actually testing what they are saying with the word of God. So I hope that encouraged you today, and I will see you on the next Do Lost Quote.